I'll see if I can find that one again right quick. Uh, view my albums and uh, cover photos. So here it is. Uh, I was using this one. So I had that one up for a couple of months. So that again is some of you may see some of your faces in there and I tagged everybody that I could recognize. Some of them I couldn't recognize. Uh, but I tagged a, a lot of folks in it and had a good conversation with it along the way. So again, a great way. People, I probably had more success with this cover image than any I've done because everybody wanted to see who they knew. Um, yes, and I will have to look it up, Pam, uh, because it. yeah, it's been a while since I've done it, so I can't remember the name of it. But I'll definitely find it for you and share it. It's a it's a Facebook app. It drags all your friends' pictures in and says, "How about this?" And then you can hit refresh, and it cycles them around and it sets them all together. It doesn't make it your cover image. It makes it a real big image, and then I of course cropped it and compressed it to what I wanted to do. No, no, no. It is a. It's a. You can tag pictures in a in a business page. No, that would be correct. You have got to be connected to them as a friend in order to tag them. Yeah, yep. So we'll get to some of that uh, strategy a little bit further down the road. Down the road. So let's talk about when when you land here. What's very important? This area right here, I think, is the most important. Who you are, what do you do, and where have you been? Uh, so what's your purpose online? So many, many people that I have in classes, their purpose for having a Facebook profile is business. And yet they don't have this business listed, what they do and who they are, and especially the link to their page. Um, I'm going to be doing everything, by the way, today from Timeline because you all will be there soon if you're not. Uh, so learn it. Uh, it's coming. Uh, it will be, uh, in fact, I heard a, a, saw some posts uh, recently that it's coming quickly. So we're going to do everything from Timeline because your business will be that way as well. But this is very important. Connecting and describing who you are and what you do and your job. So quick access to that. You can get to it a couple of ways, but you can just click the about right there. It pulls up the screen and it lists uh, your companies first. And this is very critical. Uh, go click on the link that is there for your company. And if it just goes to a blank page that maybe two or three or five people have liked, you're not linked to your business page. Hopefully you have a business page. You want this link to go right to your business page because in many cases, I'll remember I'll, I'll remember Pam, but I don't remember. Oh, what's the name of Pam's company? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I go to Pam's profile, and if she has it linked correctly, then I'm going to one-click go right to her page and, and get the deal so that hopefully I can call her for business because Pam is very personable. She develops a relationship with people. They remember Pam. They may not remember, oh, what did Pam change your company name to? Oh, it's orders for, no, 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 no. I it's. I call somebody that found me, Pam Furlong. Yep. Did exactly what you're saying. Yep. And I'm thinking, wow. Exactly. So yeah. everybody searches in a different way. They may do this on LinkedIn, but they're trying to find you, and they, they've remembered something about you. And, and in this case, it was your name, so they found you on Facebook. So if that link is not correct, you're missing business. You need to make sure that that link is linking to your correct Facebook page. And I, I actually put a phone number on there, uh, but there are some ways you can do some safe phone numbers. You can use a Google uh, voice number. That is a free number you can get from Google that you could put on your profile, and it's very easy to screen it so that people aren't calling your house or calling directly to your cell phone. You can assign that number to call, I want it to call my house today, I want it to call my phone number now, and it's your business line, but it's a safe business line. Does it gives you the ability Google to... Phone number? Google Voice is what it's called, and we, we may do a whole class on that because there's some really cool things you can do with Google Voice. Often you run into people that say, oh, I don't do Facebook, no. no. Yeah. Not, oh. And I say, you know what, if, you, if all you yeah. It, it's the new phone book of today. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. At the minimum. Yeah. So you may want to be security-wise. We'll talk a little bit about that. You may not want everybody just being able. 
get a Google Voice number, and there's a couple of ways that when it comes up on your phone, you can identify, oh, this is a business call. And I know it is because it's coming in on my Google Voice number. Uh, but then again, they don't have direct access to you. You can screen your calls that way a little bit more. Um, just a tip and trick. Uh, so again, uh, if, if, if I didn't have this uh, correct, I would click edit and let's do this. Uh, let's do, I'm going to add the smart group and I'm going to say your position is that part at the front of the profile member it says what you do at that company so you may want to be again it's the same way on LinkedIn you can kind of say something here do you want to say I'm the owner or do you want to say what is it that you do that provides a great service you may want to describe it other than I'm the owner at Joe's you know Joe's coffee shop I provide great coffee and environment at Joe's coffee house uh, what is that so you add whatever you're going to add there. If it didn't come up and populate immediately when I started typing the name of the company, then you want to check your Facebook page to make sure you're, you're finding your page like you need to. You want it to link to your page. Because if you say, I have security concerns and don't want to put my phone number here, you got to have it on your business page. I mean, it's there for business. You want people to call and do business with you. Any questions on that? If you have one and it's not linked, just right over here to the right, let me scroll down, see the little X, just delete it, and then start typing it over again. So what happened in many cases, you created a profile, and then later on you came back and added a Facebook page. So they're not connected. So you just delete that profile, business, job, profile, add it back, and as you begin to type it, it's going to find it. Oh, you mean this one, right? And you click on it and choose it. And then it's linked. And all it is is a shortcut link that's going to take them over to that page. To your business page. To your business page, correct. Those directions are on our blog or yes. on our website. Yes. And I actually have a video that I'll put up later on how to do it as well. The on video, the page. The video's on there. Oh, that's and, right. And They'll put it up. I have written uh, directions. Yes. So you can watch a video and read the written directions. It's written, it's a video, uh, again, uh, this, it's a simple thing, but it's really important uh, because you don't know how people are trying to find you. Sometimes they'll remember your business name first, sometimes they remember you personally, and they make the connection the other way, so you want to be set up both ways. Any questions on this? Make sure that the content that you have here is what you want represented about you. If you're in the market for work, you're moving into new jobs, you're, this is very important because this is what people are going to check out about you. Uh, you can set it to where nobody can see this. Uh, that's a choice. Or you can say, mm, I think I'd like it to work for me a little more and I'm going to say uh, truth things about me that are well representing to a company who may be looking at my profile. Because uh, any, anybody uh, who's, uh, I don't hire anybody that I don't go check them out online. Uh, I'm looking at their LinkedIn, their Facebook, or anything else I can find to give me a frame of reference about what kind of person I am, am hiring. Uh, it's, and if you're looking for work, you can do the opposite. You can go check out a company. What's that? Uh, I am a PC because I can't afford a Mac. Uh, and, then, and then I say, oh, I bought a Mac. Oh, it broke. Uh, so anyway, I killed my Mac. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm How do you do that? I went back to PC. I, it just, it broke. It wouldn't work. So I, I, gave it. I was able to use it and I enjoyed it. And I like knowing both platforms, but it died. So it's just funny tech banter. Uh, part of being a geek. Otherwise, it says I'm a geek. That's what it says right there. <laughs> So it's okay. And I have my Twitter ID there as well, uh, if somebody wants to engage with me that way. Uh, again, another option. You can do that. If I don't have a business page at all, but I have a personal page, uh -huh. will going to your website, will that help me walk through how to create a business page? Uh, yes. And in fact, uh, when well, we... In two weeks. In two weeks, okay. I'm going to cover that in detail. I'm going to talk specifically about some of the identification labels that are very important. Almost everybody in this room should have...